I'm Richard Rantrop from Bonn, Germany. At the moment, I attend high school and would like your wisdom on how to approach the question of what to do with the rest of my life. So. We, we prefer things a little more difficult than that if you've got to say. <laughs> so, Mr. Buffett, Mr. Vanga, if you were about to start all over again, what profession would you choose and why? Well, I would, I would choose what I do because A, I have fun at it, I'm reasonably good at it, you know, I, I meet a lot of interesting people through it, uh, no heavy lifting, it, it, you know, it, it's, it fits me, doesn't, but that, that's not advice for you, I mean, you have to find out what really, what, what's your passion in life, you know, it's a terrible mistake to kind of sleepwalk through your life, because unless Shirley MacLaine's right, you know, it's the only one you're going to have. And the, uh, so I, I was lucky. I was very lucky in that I found my passion early. I mean, I, that's not easy. You know, that, that takes some luck. It just so happened. My dad was in a business, uh, had a very small office and he had a bunch of books down there. And I, when I would go down there on Saturday or after school, I would start reading those books and it, it turned me on. And, uh, uh, this was before Playboy actually existed. They, uh, uh, and, and so, you know, that, that was just plain lucky, you know. If he'd been a minister, I'm not so sure I would have you know, gotten quite as enthused about visiting the office. Uh, but that's, that's the way to, and, and I can't prescribe that for you, uh, but I can tell you that if you're, if you're going through the motions in life, you're doing something uh, now, if you, you know, obviously, if you need the job you have and you can't, you can't make a change and your kids have to eat and all of that, you deal with realities like that. But when you're in a position to make choices, you know, I always tell the, the kids that come visit me, I tell them, go to work for an organization you admire or an individual you admire. Uh, that means that many of them become self-employed, but <laughs> they, <laughs> they, but the idea you know, you can't get a bad result. I went to work for Ben Graham when I was 24. I only worked for him for less than two years, but I jumped out of bed every day in the morning. I was excited about what I was going to do. I was learning things. I was, I, I was with a man I admired. Uh, I never asked my salary when I took that job. I moved to New York City and found out what my salary was when I got the check. So just be sure you, and be sure you get the right spouse. That's enormously important that the, the, you know, Charlie, says the problem, you know, is, is that we talk about that fellow that spent 20 years looking for the perfect woman and then he found her and unfortunately she was looking for the perfect man. So you may have a problem in that respect. <laughs> but it's, it's enormously important who you marry. I mean, it, it's a huge, huge, huge decision. And, uh, you know, if, you, if you're lucky in a couple of things like that, uh, you're going to have a happy life. And uh, and you're going, you're going to behave better as you go along. I mean, it's a, it's a lot easier to behave well when, when things are going your way and you're enjoying your work and you, you like the, you're thinking about things every day that they're the kind of things you like to think about. Uh, and Charlie has a lot better advice than I have on that. Go to it. Well, of course, you'll do better if you develop a passion for something in which you have a considerable aptitude. I think of... Warren had gone into the ballet. <laughs> Nobody would have ever heard of him. Oh, I think they'd have heard of me, just in a different way, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> well, the chances are, if you find something that turns you on, you probably do have some talent for it, though. I mean, it, it, uh, I never, I don't think I could have gotten turned on by ballet. <laughs> yeah.